Hello and welcome to News 9. I'm Mr. Tan. The big news that we're tracking this hour in yet another disaster involving the Malaysian plane. A Malaysian plane crashed in Ukraine. The flight carrying 295 passengers on board crashed near the Russian border. All 295 passengers on board are feared dead. This is the big news, in fact, that is just coming in. Information just uh, trickling in, even as the world uh, is yet to get over the Malaysian 370 aircraft uh, disaster. Here we see yet another one striking. The reason behind this uh, crash is not known at the moment, but it happened at the Russian border. It crashed in Ukraine. All 295 on board are believed to have lost their lives in the incident. In fact, uh, this is the big news that is just coming in that we're tracking this hour where 295 passengers are believed to have been killed in this plane crash reported from Ukraine. And once again, the plane involved here is a Malaysian aircraft. As we have seen a few months back, a Malaysian airliner went missing, never to be found again. And here is yet another Malaysian aircraft that has crashed. Is it a problem with uh, the aircraft? What is the reason behind the crash? And once again, we see over close to 300 people losing their lives in this incident. My colleague Arun joins us with more details on this weather. Arun, what more can you tell us? That's right, uh, Nishita. Remember, it was having about 295 people and 18 crew members. Now, uh, the worst is feared this happened on the Ukraine-Russian uh, border. So you can't probably rule out some kind of a terrorist action because remember, Ukraine-Russian border is now declared unofficially a war zone. Uh, so clearly, this was on its flight from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur is the capital city of Malaysia. This was a uh, Malaysian Airways flight uh, from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur. The distance between the two cities is roughly 6,328 miles. It takes about 11, 13 hours and 10 minutes for the flight to have completed its uh, voyage. But uh, clearly, this uh, particular flight must have been barely about an hour or an hour and a half into flight before it actually crashed. Um, on the uh, Ukraine-Russian border, killing, as it is feared at this point of time, all the 295 occupants along with 18 um, flight attendants and crew members, uh, Nishita. Right, and also we understand that uh, this comes close on the heels of the Malaysian 370 aircraft disaster. Are we looking at something wrong being with the Malaysian airliners? Is some, it, it, do deeper investigations need to be carried out on that front? You cannot rule out the possibility of something uh, like a terrorist attack. Remember, as you rightly pointed out, as far as uh, the other airline uh, crash is concerned, it went off mysteriously, uh, mysteriously off the radar. Nobody knows till date what exactly has happened. But clearly it uh, indicates, as you rightly said, uh, that uh, this uh, could uh, raise a lot of concerns about uh, flight safety, particularly about... Uh, uh, the uh, Malaysian airline uh, operations. Now, what we are given to believe uh, is, uh, Nishita, that this particular flight should have actually gone over uh, from uh, part of uh, Western Europe, flown over uh, parts of Asia, particularly the Middle East, flying over the Indian Ocean, then going to uh, Malaysia. So clearly, as far as uh, this particular airline is concerned, uh, it was on its voyage. Uh, this, is a, uh, this, is, this would normally take about 12 hours and uh, uh, 13 hours and 10 minutes. Uh, it is a non-stop, twice a day flight, uh, uh, Nishita. It's a non-stop, twice per day flight. So clearly... Uh, this is going to be a major embarrassment for the Malaysian Airlines because, remember, they are still yet to come out of that uh, shock of uh, the other airline going down mysteriously uh, off the radar screen. So clearly, this is going to be some kind of a major uh, development. We will have to wait and watch as to what happens next. Uh, what is the kind of probe, whether uh, it will be an all-Malaysian probe or whether it will be a probe which will be uh, launched first by the uh, Dutch authorities, later on followed by uh, the um, Malaysians. But clearly a very big embarrassment, a very big shock, because remember, Malaysia has still not been able to convincingly tell the um, flying public 
that its uh, fleet of aircraft are uh, safe, uh, Nishchita. Uh, absolutely, and also it was flying over Ukraine. It has crashed uh, at the Russian border. Now, this is a troubled border that we're looking at. Ukraine itself has been uh, reeling under uh, uh, crisis. Uh, can we connect the uh, dots here, uh, Arun? You can't uh, remove that uh, speculation, uh, Nishtita, as you rightly pointed out. Remember, we are talking of the Ukraine-Russian border and uh, that area, thanks to the ongoing dispute between uh, Russia and Ukraine, is a kind of a hotbed of a lot of uh, uh, violent activities. There have been violent strikes. Uh, there is a, uh, you can't completely rule out the possibility of some kind of a terror attack because, remember, many of the um, people, uh, the uh, militia and the uh, pro-Ukraine uh, supporters do carry a lot of sophisticated equipment, uh, arms and ammunition, including perhaps uh, anti-missile air, uh, aircraft guns. So clearly you can't rule that out. There could be a possibility that this uh, got, uh, got caught or perhaps was uh, unintentionally targeted by one of the two groups. We have to rely at this point of time, as I said, on uh, speculation. And uh, it is now being speculated intensively that it could be a case of this particular uh, uh, aircraft being brought down by perhaps uh, some kind of a gun attack. We don't know whether this is confirmed or not, but clearly uh, this raises a lot of questions about uh, airline safety. And uh, remember, this was on a long, this is a non-stop uh, long haul uh, trip for the Malaysian airline from Amsterdam to uh, Kuala Lumpur, Amsterdam, uh, as you all know, is a very important travel destination in Europe. And this was a 13-hour flight from uh, um, Amsterdam to uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, Nishchita. Well, and also a lot of speculation surrounded uh, the last the last communication received from the plane in case of the Malaysian 370 aircraft. Uh, is there any such uh, report as to what was the last communication, whether there was uh, a, a distress uh, signal sent across before the crash took place? In fact, there is a slight, a little bit of an update which we are getting at this point of time, uh, Nishita. What we are getting to know is that... Uh, the, uh, the Russian authorities, remember uh, these are aviation industry sources within the Russian aviation industry and uh, they are saying that actually the plane which was on its flight from uh, Europe to Malaysia did not actually uh, enter the Russian airspace and perhaps it came down crashing right. somewhere near eastern U Ukraine. Right, so right, right, Arun, stay with us. We'll come back to you for more details. Well, uh, in the big news that is just coming in, uh, speculations are being raised as if uh, the airliner was shot down. Uh, the airliner brought down by a missile is what reports are indicating. Let's not forget that it has crashed in the tr troubled region of uh, the Russian border uh, that it shares uh, with Ukraine. And that is what has uh, led to speculations uh, coming to light that maybe the airliner was shot down. Maybe this is the doing of a terror attack. Arun, now coming to you, can you tell us more about the latest developments? Uh, Nishita, we are getting to know that this happened in perhaps a border town of Shakatex right. uh, in uh, the uh, Ukraine-Russian uh, border. And uh, this happened in eastern Ukraine is what we are given right. to believe. So clearly the uh, flight did not enter the Russian uh, airspace. Right, right, Arun. Right, Arun, I'll have to place you on hold there. Well, uh Certainly a lot of speculations once again coming to light, but because this crash uh, took place along the Ukraine-Russia border, it has given rise to speculations that it could be an act of terror, that it could be an act of uh, a human uh, terror that has led to the crash. Uh, from the Russian government to that. Then a couple of hours ago, first of all, we had a denial from Vitaly Cherkin, uh, who is Russia's ambassador to the UN. Him, uh, him in New York saying to reporters uh, that it, Russia had nothing to do with it. Just a few minutes after that, there was also a statement uh, from Russia's defense ministry saying that the accusations from Kiev that Russia had, had anything to do uh, with the downing of a, of a fighter jet were completely absurd and that Kiev had no uh, evidence uh, to back that up. Uh, now, Russia has always maintained that it does not have any state involvement, military involvement in what's going on in Ukraine. 
it does acknowledge that there may well be uh, Russian fighters there, but it says and has always said that those Russian fighters are entirely there under their own initiative. They're not being commanded uh, by Moscow. This is not believed by Kiev, uh, and it's not believed by many in the West as well. As we have seen over the last 24 hours, uh, the U.S. has uh, put new sanctions in place, uh, much more sectoral sanctions uh, against Russia, uh, showing that it thinks that Russia does have a, a very heavy hand in what's going on in Ukraine at the moment. Rory Shalons there live from Moscow. We will continue to bring you the very latest details we have on the downing of that plane in Ukraine. It's a developing situation at the moment, but as I say, we'll bring you all the information we can as we get it. Now, campaigners in Ireland are gathering evidence which they say proves Catholic nuns disposed of the bodies of babies born out of wedlock. With the help of an archaeologist, they're trying to determine whether thousands of babies could be buried in unmarked graves. In the first of a two-part investigation, well, in fact, uh, this is an unconfirmed footage that has emerged that reportedly shows the smoke billowing out from the region where uh, the plane is, has supposedly crashed. But, uh, of course, there are no confirmed uh, uh, plea, uh, information as far as this video is concerned. We understand that uh, the plane crashed uh, along the Russian border that it shares uh, with Ukraine. And we know the kind of troubled relationship that the two countries are facing. And this was the moment when the video was captured when there was smoke billowing out at a distance in Hence, you can't see exactly what is resulting uh, in the smoke uh, coming out. It is not clear as to whether it is the plane crash itself has led to uh, the smoke billowing out of the region. But since the video has been captured from a distance, uh, there is no confirmation on the authenticity of uh, this video as of now. But we will try and get you more details on that front as to what exactly took place that led to the crash of the Malaysian aircraft. This comes close on the heels of the